Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome to my channel. I feel like it's been a while since I posted on this channel. My last video was me visiting a bookstore down in Somerville, South Carolina. And I feel like just ever since that trip, really just the last couple of months in general, have felt very odd, like abnormal. And I feel like I'm just starting to get back on track. So I'm excited to start bringing you weekly content again. I have got my coffee because it is three o'clock and this is the time of day that I feel like I just get so exhausted and I've just spent the morning and most of the afternoon so far getting some work done and I figured I would spend the later afternoon and evening with you guys. So first let's just appreciate the mug. I've had this for so long. Everything sunshine and rainbows. I think it's so cute. And also let's address the elephant in the room. Look at this freaking sick crew neck. <laughs> I am a big thrifter, which you'll know if you watch my main channel, that's like pretty much all about thriftiness, decluttering, stuff like that. So I hardly ever buy anything new for myself, clothing wise, even like home decor, otherwise, whatever. Always try to thrift when I can. But I was on Etsy looking for a baby shower gift for one of my good friends and this was just right on the front page. They knew I would get suckered in to buying this crew neck but I think it's so cute. I love frog and toad. Very comfortable. I'm gonna wear this all the time and I think it's perfect for this kind of cozy afternoon and evening. I still need to get some work done. I'm actually going to be writing a little bit Still working on my dad's memoir with him and I've really struggled to make time for it in the day, but I've decided I can do an hour non-negotiable every day. And before we know it, I'm sure we'll finish it up. And then I'm also going to make, I think, some mini banana breads for my neighbors because I have a lot of bananas that are about to go really bad. And I've been reading Atlas Six, I feel like forever. It's probably been like five days. It's not been that long, but I have about a hundred pages left and I really just want to get that done tonight feeling very tired. It's been a busy work week. So I would love to just kind of settle in this evening after I finish up work stuff, get a bath and finish that book. So far I'd say it's like a 4.5. There are some parts I really don't like otherwise it would probably be five stars. A little like science heavy, which I don't love personally, but definitely very well written. The author is obviously a very intellectual person. But I also figured before we kind of get into the afternoon, I want to share with you some recent books that I got. I did place a small order with Book Outlet, so I figured I would just include it in this video. So first up is actually the most random, but I think I got this for just a couple of bucks. I'll put on the screen what I ended up paying for this entire order. But this is True Grit, and I watched this movie quite a while ago when it came out, and I did really like it. And I was definitely suckered in by the cover. <laughs> I think it's very pretty. So that was the random one, and then I was actively searching for books by this author, Megan Miranda, because I've read... I believe two or three books from her. I recently just finished her newest book, which might not even be out to the general public yet. I got it, I think, early through Book of the Month, and I thought it was amazing. So this is an older one that I haven't read yet, but I still wanna read it. This is such a quiet place. I'm just really a thriller girl. I love my thrillers. So I did pick up Daisy Darker, Finally by Alice Feeney. I've been on the lookout for a cheap copy of Daisy Darker and it finally was available on Book Outlet, so definitely worth the wait. But I do have His and Hers, haven't read that yet, and I did read Rock, Paper, Scissors, and I did really like that one a lot. I love to go on Book Outlet and just kind of search some authors that I enjoy and you can just see what pops up and it changes all the time. So pretty much all these books were not available when I placed my last order. Okay, and the last two I'm very excited about. I've been wanting to read both of these. So first is I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. And actually just the last couple of weeks I was thinking that I wanted to buy the audiobook because I didn't think it would ever be on Book Outlet, but then sure enough it popped up. So I probably will just go ahead and read it, maybe listen to the audiobook along with it, but I was very very happy not to pay full price for this one. And everyone says how wonderful this is. I'm definitely very interested in her story. 
very sad story, but I did grow up with her. I loved watching her on iCarly and I'm glad to see she's doing better now. So just really excited to read her book and read more memoirs, honestly, throughout the year. And then the last one I did get from Book Outlet was another one that's been on my to-buy list. This is Taylor Jenkins Reid, Carrie Soto is back. I've read her three other ones in this universe, Daisy Jones, which of course is super hot right now, Malibu Rising, and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and they were all five stars from me. I really, really love her writing style. I would say of those three, Daisy Jones is actually my least favorite just because of the writing style. I feel like my brain just didn't really like the writing style, but her stories are amazing. Would highly recommend. She's definitely not overhyped. So I'm very anxious to read this one as well. I've heard a lot of people say this one is not their favorite in that universe. There's some like overlapping characters between all four books, but I'm still very eager to read this one as well as her couple other ones that I have yet to get to. All right, so those are all the ones from Book Outlet, but I did take the plunge and buy Kate Morton's newest book in hardback, Homecoming, for the full price of I think like $28, which I don't love to do that, but she is one of my favorite authors, honestly probably top three. I absolutely love Kate Morton's stories. If you are a fan of historical fiction or just a dang good novel written by a dang good author, I would highly recommend her books. I think she puts one out every like two to three years. She really takes a lot of time to do the research and develop her story. So her kind of style is she'll have a character set in the present who is finding out information about someone in the past. Maybe they're related or just connected in some way. So you're getting both stories at the same time. And I just absolutely love that writing style. I'm actually working on a book myself written in a kind of similar way, not exactly, but I just love her stories. There's always like a mystery to be solved and they're just dang good books. So would highly recommend Kate Morton. And that's another reason I really, really wanna finish Atlas Six tonight is so I can dive into this one. But those are all my recent buys. I think I'm actually gonna take about a half hour right now and drink my coffee and read a little bit of Atlas Six before I start getting into some work again. Okay, so before I get into an hour of writing, I remembered that I wanted to redo the bookshelves, or not even redo them, just organize them in general, because we did, probably like a month ago actually, get these very long bookshelves. We special ordered them from Etsy. Took literally like three months to come, if not four months to come. But I just haven't really had a chance to like style the bookshelves yet. I just put all of the books that I have read on here. And then you guys have seen in other videos, I do have a couple other bookshelves that hold all the books that I have yet to read as well as like collections of books, series I do have on a different bookshelf. These are more like standalone books that I've read. So yeah, they are quite long. I think I'm going to take everything off, organize by genre, and then I do have like some little knickknacks, things like that to style on the shelves. And it is at this moment that um, I kind of regret everything, but it'll be fine. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna separate by genre and then by author within the genre. I have a lot of historical fiction. I definitely have a lot of thrillers at this point. So that will be a great portion of these books. So 
also organized everything by genre. We've got quite a lot of thrillers and mystery over here, historical fiction, small pile of romance, kind of domestic fiction, as they say, literary fiction, and then also quite a bit of fantasy, and there's also like a sci-fi in there because I have like one sci-fi book. Now I'm gonna start putting everything on the shelf and I'll just kind of organize by author as I do that. So I still have not done my hour of writing yet, but I figured it would make more sense with time, especially because it's already 5.15, if I went ahead and made the banana bread and then wrote while it is baking. So there's of course a bazillion banana bread recipes out there, but I just got this one from Tasty. So it is three ripe bananas, a half cup of butter, which I'm not gonna pick up because it's really hot right now, melted. We've got some sugar, flour, and egg beaten we've got some vanilla extract baking soda salt to taste all-purpose flour and some mini chocolate chips so we actually have all the ingredients that often doesn't happen when i went to bake a recipe but yeah yesterday at the thrift store i picked up these adorable little dishes and i have three of them and this recipe says it's six servings so I might need to double it. I'm not quite sure. I'm just gonna make the normal recipe first and just see how much fills up the pans and then go from there. batter is looking good smells really good i cannot even express the amount of self-control it is taking me to not eat a chocolate chip or taste the batter i'm actually in the middle of an elimination diet i'm on day like 11 or something like that and so i haven't had any wheat sugar pretty much all of these ingredients i've not had in quite a while now but i don't want them anymore it's weird how quickly you're taste buds can adjust, but it does smell really, really good. So now I'm just going to grease these, pour the batter in. I think we'll have enough for all of these. That's why I think these will be like super cute. I gotta remember to rub off the bottom price tag. That'd be awkward. But I feel like each couple will be able to like have half of these. This will be perfect for two people. came out well, had a lovely little dinner, watched one of my favorite YouTubers, Lone Fox, total house inspiration. But to be honest, you guys, it's not even 6.30 yet, it's 6.23. And I just have been feeling like increasingly crappy <laughs> throughout the day, throughout this afternoon, to be honest. And I'll probably just have Ryan be the little banana bread delivery boy to our neighbors, because I just, like, I don't know, I feel like I can't even stand up right now. I'm so achy. So I'm just gonna kinda 
hang out the rest of the evening, finish this book, go to bed early, literally probably go to bed in like two hours because I have a big conference that I need to do things for on Friday, so I absolutely can't miss that. So I don't want to get sick sick, and I've got tomorrow to either get better or get worse. So gotta take it easy for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I do hope you enjoyed. Look out for a book review from the last two months. That'll be my next video coming out. If you did like this one, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help my channel out a lot. But thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.